Hi, I'm Frederick Waite, co-founder and chief e-commerce officer of Covered Corp. Covered Corp was founded on the guiding principle that a better, faster, and more cost-efficient distribution platform for small to medium-sized commercial insurance would greatly benefit all stakeholders. We offer our partners a unique blend of insurance company discipline and insurance agency vision powered by the vast reach, scope, and efficiencies of modern-day information technology. From technological breakthroughs to innovative business strategies, from manufacturing to e-commerce, from telecommunications to the home computer, on World Business Review with Alexander Haig. Welcome to World Business Review. I'm Alexander Haig. Owners of small to medium-sized businesses have a tougher time getting first-rate insurance services than their larger counterparts. Joining us now to discuss online insurance solutions is Frederick Waite, co-founder and chief e-commerce officer at Coverage Corp. Welcome, Fred. We're delighted to have you. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. And also joining us for this discussion is our industry expert, Vint Cerf. And Vint is the senior vice president at WorldCom, as well as an internet pioneer. Thanks very much, Alan. Always a pleasure to be here. Now, Vin, how does the internet change the picture for small businesses today? Well, my impression is that small businesses have a lot of trouble getting sufficient information about insurance uh, coverage in order to make good choices. Mm -hmm. And we're going to discover from Fred that he's found a way to create what in effect is an application service uh, product that will help small businesses get that information in a timely way. Good. Now, Fred, why do small to mid-sized businesses have such a hard time getting the best deals out there? Well, typically, the small business owner, because of their geographic nature being spread out, the typical lower premiums, because they are a small business, it doesn't really make it attractive for an agent to focus on them. Uh, so we, we're looking to change that. We're looking to make the small business owner attractive again to that agent. Now, for more on what's being done to help these smaller companies and insurance carriers, let's go to World Business Review's Ruth Townsend for this report from Charlotte, North Carolina. A small coffee shop in Charlotte, North Carolina, typically is not a profitable investment for an insurance agency. And the coffee shop, in turn, does not find the process of selecting an insurance provider efficient. The shop owner may question whether they are getting the best coverage for their investment yet they don't have time to search for another option. Enter Coverage Corporation, an internet answer to both the needs of carriers and small to medium-sized businesses. By answering a few industry-specific questions, a business owner can compare and purchase insurance from providers in his specific business and location. Another unique feature of Coverage Corp allows business owners to research the latest federal regulations, risks, and potential trends for their industry. Additionally, coverage provides a live chat that allows shoppers to ask questions during the quote process. If you're going to buy product over the internet, you need to deal with a trusted third party. The coverage idea has attracted other e-commerce partners, such as Brightlane. This aggregate super site delivers essential business services to small and medium-sized companies. They have partnered with coverage to provide the insurance solution rather than creating their own. It was very clear early on for us to achieve what Coverage Corp has today. We didn't have the time and didn't have the money and that picking a best of breed partner was our best opportunity to get to market quickly with a product that would make money for both Coverage Corp and for Brightlane. Coverage Corp also licensed its technology to traditional insurance agencies and carriers. This is Ruth Townsend reporting from Charlotte for World Business Review. Now, Vint, how does this uh, kind of a solution help drive down the cost for the smaller consumer? Well, it's very clear. This is such a fascinating story. They're, clearly, they're taking costs out by making it more efficient for the agent to service the customer and much more efficient for the customer to get information about insurance coverage. But Fred, I've got oh, just a, uh, my head's buzzing full of questions. Uh, you've created this platform. You're making it available to third parties, other, other uh, companies that have agents servicing the insurance business, but you're also using it within your own company to uh, serve uh, customers. Right. Now, how does that match up? I mean, aren't, aren't you feeding the competition? 90% of all uh, insurance is sold through the traditional channels. 10% have said, hey, geez, you know, I, I'm okay. I need to uh, transact my business on the Internet. What Coverage Corp is doing is we are enabling 
the channel that the 90% have said, hey, I want to help, I want help, I want face to face, I want all those things that I traditionally receive. The 10% we're there for those in our e-agent model where we can basically service them via the internet through and, our partners like Brightline. And you make money out of both of those. We make money That's out of both of those. That's right. Right. how do you deal with the problem of fraud? Coverage Corp looks at a couple different things. We've, we've stolen a term from the financial services industry, what we call our ATM model. Similar to if you uh, type in your code a couple times wrong, we keep your card. Same thing on the internet. If, if you go through with the insurance quote process and you tell me you're a, a roofer who is 15 stories high, get your quote and you go back and tell me, geez, now I'm an in interior carpet installer. Very different risk, very different rate, but also an area you shouldn't have made. So similar to the ATM, we present them a opportunity to complete the transaction offline. Now what about the other side of this, uh, this coin? Uh, you have to collect quite a bit of business information from a business owner before you can decide the nature of the coverage that's required and the premium. Uh, that's proprietary information. How do you protect that? Uh, we do it a few different ways. First of all, we've implemented a very stringent privacy policy, which is very, very uh, in front of that business owner. They know we're protecting their data. We're not out there selling it on the street corner, if you will. Uh, and then we also use the latest and greatest encryption. Uh, so we look at that, especially when it comes to financial services partners mm -hmm. that we look at partnering with. Data security is very important, and that's a big risk today. Now, will this... Uh Drive down the costs, uh, that's the big key question, I think, to the small consumer. It is. It is. It's the big question and the big riddle, I think, in some aspects. Uh, clearly, the Internet is a cheaper distribution channel. We know that. We've seen that in the life and health space, from the cost. We've seen it in the, in the financial world, on the cost of, of servicing that customer. I think what we'll see long-term, long-term meaning two to three years out, uh, as the data becomes more clear for the insurance carriers, and there's pockets of that now, you're going to see a little bit uh, price difference when you shop online versus shopping the traditional world. You know, you, you've done something fascinating to me. When you look at this picture, the Bright Lane deal that you have, mm -hmm. you're making it possible for companies to virtualize themselves. I mean, you become a piece of someone else's company, and the only reason that works is through this uh, aggregating medium of the net and the web. So it looks to me like you found a way to really squeeze a lot of costs out by not having to have a huge staff of your own to do this work. Are we getting this right? Absolutely, and especially if you look at that Bright Lane model where uh, I think Coverage Corp is one of the few organizations that's smart enough to know that we're a piece of the pie for that business owner. There's the financial, there's the payroll, there's the insurance, there's the, the recruiting needs of all these folks. And sites like Brightlane that bring it all together and not just bring it together to uh, shop there, but also integrate that data. So now you can, as a business owner, use that as a desktop. So there's not just efficiencies in the insurance world, there's efficiencies in the payroll world, the financial world. It's exactly. great. This is it's, like great. A, it's like a fabric that's being woven together because not only are you being more efficient for the ultimate consumer of the product, right. but you're actually marketing yourself more efficiently through this aggregation mm -hmm. trick as well. Absolutely this right. Is, this is neat. Right. Uh, does it turn out, Fred, that uh, in the end, those 90% of the uh, insurance coverage that's sold by agents, that's going to disappear? Are, you gonna, are agents going to go out of this picture, or are you actually enabling them to function better? No. Agents, I think, uh, contrary to what a lot of folks <laughs> believe, uh, the agents provide a great value. And you can, you can really look at the uh, travel industry, what happened years ago when, when folks started to transact and buy uh, on the, online. It's a matter of value. What, and and it really causes agents to look inward. What value are they truly providing that business owner or customer? Are they building relationship? Some things are going to be bought on the Internet, whether it's 90-10 to 80-20 to 70-30. I think that's yet, yet undetermined. What about full range of coverage of insurance, kind, kinds of insurance? You, you touch everything, is that right? Everything that that business owner needs is, is there, their workers' compensation, their commercial automobile, their directors and officers, everything that they need to manage their insurance portfolio, not just on a weekly or monthly basis. Uh, it's important that it, it's there for them when they need it and not acquisition time in 90 days mm -hmm. before renewal, mm -hmm. which is, I think, uh, pretty typical of how that is happening today. Now, Fred, elaborate on the self-service approach. It's very important. Uh, again, going back to that business owner, when they, when they typically interact with their agent, acquisition 90 days before renewal, what we've done is create an online educational piece to our, our offering. If they want to learn about risk management, loss prevention, ways to save, OSHA regulations, all those things that matter to them, on a daily basis, not when it's acquisition time or 90 days of renewal. 
So, uh, Fred, what happens when I get online and I fill in the information about my company and, and what risks I may have? Um, do I actually complete the whole transaction right there online, or does somebody have to call me, or do I have to get a letter, or how does that work? You can complete the transaction completely online. However, we will call you, and there's a few reasons we do that. First of all, we want to introduce you to Coverage Corp. Going back to the service issue, we want to introduce you to the carriers you've chosen, we want to walk you through how you file a claim, all these wonderful things that have to happen post-sale, uh, and as well as just, just talk to you. So it's, it's building that bond of, okay, you know, I've used the uh, you know, anonymous aspect of the web to complete it, but I still have to talk to somebody. Uh, so you can buy it online, but we want to uh, engage you. Yeah, now Fred Vint talked about the applicability of this system to the big boys, but how about the applicability to other types of insurance, life insurance, et cetera? That's an interesting question. It is. It, life is, is probably the, uh, the granddaddy of uh, what we've seen in the space. They've been out the longest and uh, have done very well. And you can now look at the data and, and look at the costs of distributing life products via the internet mm -hmm. compared to a traditional agent channel. Uh, and it's just vastly, vastly different. But it doesn't, it doesn't stop with life. There's, there's personal lines, there's commercial lines, there's the commercial health. I mean, it's just Everything. anything that can make it efficient, I'm, I'm all for. Uh, now, Fred, this, uh, <laughs> I'm seeing this uh, system that you've got put together uh, aggregating quite a bit of information about existing insurance coverage of all various kinds. Is there some way that this is going to allow you to create new kinds of products, maybe better kinds of insurance products that are better fitted to the needs of each of the customers? It is. Uh, we have an opportunity to change the way everything is, is sold. And what we've done is we've said, well, you come there today and you, you tell Fred, I want uh, a quote on workers' compensation. Uh, our next generation coming soon is, you tell me a little bit about yourself. You're a golf shop owner in Charlotte, North Carolina, and I'm going to tell you what you need. So we, we have that advisory role, which a lot of folks, if you look at the internet, they say that's not there. Uh, so we want to personalize it for you. You tell me what you do for a living and your knowledge of business, because you know you're a small business, and I'll tell you what you need. Okay, so this is instead of buying the suit off the rack or the policy off the rack, you come in and get fitted. Detailed. This is fascinating. Right. You may not like your measurements, but... <laughs> <laughs> but it'll fit better. It'll yeah, fit better. We can yeah. probably take a little bit off you. But. As long as you don't turn the green light on for the green suit. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah, we may recommend, you know, going away from green. Now, in the Internet is a, a global media today, a global link. Uh, are, you, are you ready to move globally? We are seriously looking at uh, moving globally, and, and for a lot of reasons. You know, the, the, the good and the bad of the, the U.S. is we lead in a lot of things, but we sometimes overcomplicate things. And if you look abroad, oddly enough, right, if you look abroad, um, there's some areas that have some real opportunity uh, from an advanced technology that we built, but also from a simplified way of selling insurance. So if you combine uh, some advanced technology with a more simplified way of selling insurance yeah. abroad, uh, that's a good marriage so we're looking seriously at. Now, Fred, at this juncture, we like to look to the future, and we've been discussing some of these issues. Uh, what do you see over the next year or two in your business? I think what we're going to see is folks understanding that it's not a mutually exclusive proposition for the 90-10. Mm -hmm. The ones who realize that I need to service that customer, whether they want to transact with me online, want to transact with me face-to-face, want to transact with me through my financial partner or my partner who has a supermarket site like an AOL, they have to service that. It's not, I only have a piece for you, it's I'm going to provide it for you whether I can provide it or I bring the right partners to provide it. Uh, and those people will be the ones who win long term. Now, unfortunately, we're going to have to terminate this very interesting discussion. And so I'd like to thank you very much for your contributions today. I appreciate it. It's a great opportunity to be here.